This week on Angry Foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but what's up? Okay, okay. I mean, I thought we had a nice game. GG. <laughs> spam -oo. Yeah, mm hmm Okay, I hear, you, I hear you loud and clear, buddy. Um, I'm not sure how you can spam as... as the Sanin. Oh, no, interesting, interesting. This is some constructive criticism. Okay, thanks, man. Good chat. Um, I'm just gonna press this big X button and see what happens. Oh. Welcome back, Fighting Dreamers, to the episode 90 of The Smack Man. Now, what that random French guy was saying to me earlier, it's really left an impact. I've been thinking about it. Maybe I have been playing you spam, you cheats, and I really need to clean up my act. So this week we're playing as characters who play dirty. Namely, Napoleon Suzke. Napoleon Tactics? Oh, that French fucker was cheap. Hashtag Napoleon was OP. I think what our friend's problem was, was that we weren't spamming enough. So let's go with characters who actively do not adhere to the rules. The rule breakers. Kabuto Yakushi plays dirty. Also, we're going with Danzo Shimura and Baruto Uzumaki with the Kote device. Boom! Theming! Because maybe I don't play dirty enough, but these three bad boys definitely do. Hashirama! <laughs> No, 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 not tonight. Not tonight on fireworks night. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I've picked a team of cheaters who don't like to play fairly, and they've been matched up against Guy and Hashirama, who might be the two most hardworking characters in the Naruto series. <laughs> but that's fine, it'll be efforts versus cheats. And now all I know about games is that cheat cartridges will take you far. I think we've got this one in the bag. Aha, just kidding, Hashirama is fucking broken. Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, put him down. Thank you. The week has been long, as they always fucking are. Even longer without internet. Hopefully by the time this video is up, we have internet skybox restored to us. It's crazy, we've been at uni in the new flat for about two, three weeks now, and it still feels like we haven't actually settled in. It doesn't, there's no internet, there's no ninja storm, there's too much fucking work, and the sound acoustic isn't quite right yet. Don't worry, I'll get used to that in time. Is it fucking actually firework time? Are you guys hearing this shit? Fucking guy, guy can wait, there are fireworks outside my window. Enough. Huh, so that was fun. I lost a round whilst admiring the fireworks, but I don't even mind. I consider myself the winner here. And... Oh, you crafty bastard! Did anyone see that teleport? My ultimate jutsu wasn't standing a chance, that was risky. But don't worry, I can do the same thing. Let's get to work. He has no style, he has no grace. This nin's gonna punch you in the fucking face. So last week's episode was fun. I always like bringing people into this show because Ninja Storm's such a weird thing. It's such a niche that no one ever gets it. Alcohol wench, my roommate, I think she gets it. And you guys seem to like her, which is the important thing. I'll make sure to bring her back next time there is an alcohol fueled episode, which knowing me will be very, very soon. I showed her all your nice comments and considering she was plastered off her face at the time, I think it meant a lot. Of course, no internet, also comes no Naruto base, and that is a blessing in disguise. I haven't obviously been watching the series because no internet, but I do not miss that fucking forum. Ah, oh, I think I've grown out of it. I think for the point where they're discussing canon, it's pissed me off. They've just become obsessed with debunking the anime or comparing it to the manga in some big pointless dick measuring contest. It's like you can enjoy both. It's so easy. I read the manga, I watch the anime, I can enjoy one without trying to invalidate the other one. 
Because remember kids, if you don't like something, that makes it filler. Holy fuck, this guy loves his shuriken. Yeah, I used to love Naruto base, and I'll use them for my dissertation, because I'm writing a dissertation on literary canon, and there'll be some Bruto in there. He's a Nagi! Yeah, I don't know, if there's one thing I will not miss, it's fucking anime snobs. Holy shit, that guy just turned into a fucking tree. You're alright, old man? Oh, he's alright. Danzo is a nice and cheap character, really easy to use, and we still fucking lost. Okay. Well, hard work, perseveres, and wins. What a moral. Is this the moral of a story? Nah, nah, nah. I think the moral is we gotta be more cheap. Hehehe, <laughs> got him. Gotcha. Actually, no, Ace the Reaper's brought Neji. So we're both going cheap this round. Bring it. Part 1 Gara is the epitome of not needing to do that any hard work. All of his powers came naturally to him, he stood still on the spot and watched till all of his sand kill many many fodder. It's why he was such a good villain in part 1. He pissed me off. But it also helps that in Ninja Storm he is fucking insanely strong. Boruto obviously is not one to love hard work. And I feel like Orochimaru plays by his own rules as well. And by his own rules, I mean the laws of nature. He's a fucking snake! Look at him go! <laughs> I can't be shouting as much in this new house. For one, there's fucking fireworks, and the whole block is not soundproof. I think the walls are made of paper. So to all of my neighbours in the street, the sound bounces off and I just sound like a shouting idiot talking to myself on the internet. Which is all I've ever been, but... Okay, this round's going really good so far. We can stay in a steady lead, because Gar is my main and I can just shut off for a bit. Anyway, let's get around to some comments. Oh! Oh, you're sunk! Oh, you're sunk! Those fireworks are so fucking beautiful. I love the sound of them. Comment time! Jim Jam! I got a theme, Yaoi ships, like Sasuke and Naruto. Wow, that's that's so crazy. That's so crazy. They would just be normal ships for me. Like, as a bi dude myself, yaoi ships were... Especially in Shippuden, which is mostly bromances. Yeah, I'll get around to a ships video soon. Ooh! Bleah. But a lot of my natural shippings are already guy on guy. Or in one instance, go on girl. Sand coffin! Oh, that was so dope! Rewind on that, replay? Yeah, his guard freaked out. He didn't know what to do there. Yeah, well, suck it, Baruto's dad. Round two. Everyone in this series needs counselling. Yes, Frankie gets it. I think, ironically, Sakura actually made a therapy ward for kids. So that's cool. She's a psychiatrist. And if any series needs counselling, it's fucking Chipperden. Sasuke, would you like to share today? Um... My brother butchered my entire family for power. And you, Neji? What's your tragic anime backstory? I wanna fuck my cousin. Whoa, Neji! I mean, this guy went to war over a girl, but man, you're fucked up, huh? So thanks, a little therapy's needed. Oh, thanks, Rochimaru. Yeah, not late at all. <laughs> in fact, all of my comments this week were about Sakura, or they involved Sakura in some sort of way. Sucker is weak as fuck, you placed her too highly in the top 50. But then also on the same day, I got Katsuyu actually grants her god powers and enables her to beat anyone. So there's no winning. Um, <laughs> apparently she can beat the likes of Choza, B, Choji. YouTube comments be crazy. I've missed them. All right, now how are we gonna win this? I feel like it's pretty smooth. Hey, 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 enough of that. No, no, who, who told you could do that, you little fox prick? Mm. All right. We need, we need some Biju control. We need to put him down nice and gently. Oh, that didn't get him. That didn't get him. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I, no, he couldn't take up two health bars. There's no way. There's a fucking way. I, if, he, if there's a way to do it, this guy's going to do it. I feel like he's cheating, sir. Teacher, I think like this fox man's cheating. Oh, dude, this is fucking unfair. Wait, no. I'm actually working very hard for this victory, okay? If we get this, this is not no work allowed. Oh, sniped! Fuck yeah. Because this is actually a lot of work, I'd argue. I'd argue this was a lot of work. 
You're lucky, Ace. If I had my action replay on me, I'd one hit KO ya. Oh! <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, let's drown Bruto's bitch ass dad and get this done. Fling! Quan Smart, that's how I wanna win. Bruto, your voice has changed. Another win. But there was actually a lot of hard work involved in that. There was no, there was no cheat. There was no one hit KOs. I want a victory where I can win lying on my ass doing practically nothing. Now, how do I go about doing that? Oh yeah, 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 Napoleon does cake. Oh, good job, Sam. The best at show, best at show. Viva la France! Can you hear the people sing, singing the songs of Angry Man? These are the voices of the people who will never be slaves again. Wow, yeah, now this is definitively the way to win. No effort needed. Boop! Or skill, actually. Who knew? If you want to play properly dirty, all you have to do is pick fucking Danzo. And can I bait him? He, he fell right the fuck in. <sighs> and there we go. Fun fact, pick top tiers and you win no problem. That's playing cheap. So yeah, top tiers. Who knew? Oh, and he's left. Out of shame. Out of shame. I don't even blame him. If there was only a song for a moment like this.